Hello and welcome to this demonstration from the Argumentation Research Group at Dundee um, where you can see how the Argument Interchange Format or AIF is starting to bring the Argument Web uh, into existence. So we start with Aracaria, um, a tool for argument analysis developed here at Dundee some time ago um, and we're analysing here an extract um, of a transcript from a BBC Radio 4 um, program called The Moral Maze. It's a discussion about whether Britain should keep its nuclear deterrent. So we're assuming that our analyst has, has used Eric Area to, um, to do some work and we now um, make this analysis available to the argument web um, by uploading it directly and manually um, to AIFDB which is one of the AIF repositories that um, constitute the argument web. Um, so the AIF specification has a has a rarefication in SQL which is then implemented in um, AIFDB. This one's hosted here at Dundee. Um, and AIFDB has a simple search interface that allows you to check to see that the argument we just an analyzed um, is now available. Um, and here it is. So here's the analysis with the, the textual components and some other um, ID data uh, in the panel on the left. Um, and a visualization on the right hand side. This visualization isn't um, uh, according to any particular standard, it's just a kind of ad hoc visualization um, of as it were raw AIF with um, the text or propositional components, inodes in AIF speak in the blue boxes and inferential um, and uh, conflict relations expressed uh, in these green and pink boxes. So once this data is available in the argument web, we can run, then run a number of different tools over it. Um, here's one that's um, currently being prototyped uh, here as a part of um, a government-funded research project. Uh, this is called Arvina, um, and the purpose of Arvina is to allow discussion, um, dialogue over argument web resources. You'll see there in the bottom right that the participants um, are those participants that took part in the original uh, Radio 4 program. Um, and we start with a claim that Britain should disarm and we ask one of the participants what they think of it. And at this point, um, Rebecca, the participant, says, yes, I agree that Britain should promote non-proliferation. And what's happening here is that Arvina, the tool, is executing um, a dialogue protocol here, a rather simple dialogue protocol, um, over those argument web resources to provide, a, if you like, a way of navigating. And here you see also updating, so the user can add in their own um, resources at the appropriate point in the argument saying yes I agree Britain should set an example. Um, so this is the this is the dialogue protocol allowing us to um, extend the resources in the argument web um, through a different means through um, through dialogic interaction. So you can see here that if we refresh the argument um, visualized in AIFDB you'll see that that new component um, that the user just added in has been added down there in the textual panel and also in the visualization just here. But Britain should set an example. So AIF resources then um, are available in a number of different um, export formats. Um, so we can export the, the graphical um, view. Um, we can also export directly in um, RDF. Um, so there's, a, there's an OWL rarefication of the AIF. Um, but I'd rather focus on the, the functionality. Um, so let's look instead at downloading for a different tool with a different set of kind of goals and assumptions. Um, uh, rationale developed by Austhink in Australia. Um, so we can uh, we can take this uh, fragment of AIF um, and export it to RTNL, a rationale file format. And then we switch to rationale. And here we imagine an analyst um, looking at indeed the same transcript for the same Radio 4 program. Um, and starting from the analysis that our Aracaria analyst had begun. Um, so let's load that file. And so here's those uh, that same fragment of AIF um, uh, open natively in Rationale, um, and now we can uh, perform some 
additional analysis of those original resources um, or indeed anything else um, using the rationale interface so here's an example of a of an argument with um, in rationale speak an objection once we finished doing our work in rationale we can save the result and then we can use exactly the same um, import function to load in that rationale analysis which updates the resources in the AIFDB in the argument web which we can then visualize um, using the same interface that we saw a moment ago and just refresh and we'll see the new argument with its objection on the left hand side there so this is starting to show how we can um, start off with an, uh, an analysis developed in Aricaria, add to it using um, Arvina, visualize the result in Rationale, and then indeed add to it using Rationale, and save it back into the argument web. Um, and this is interesting because Aricaria is um, uh, very much an academic tool, and aimed very much at um, analysis. Rationale is much more of a practical tool to support decision making. Um, and supports argument creation as well as analysis and then a third and again kind of differently focused argumentation tool is Carneades developed by Tom Gordon in Berlin um, and we can extract AI resources um, in ELKIF so Carneades has a specifically um, legal focus um, and this is that same fragment of AIF rendered in uh, the native Carneades diagramming structure and once again uh, we can use Carneades to manipulate and update this structure um, so in this case I think we want to uh, try and add a new argument perhaps Britain should disarm because nuclear weapons are expensive. And then once again, we can save this Carneades analysis. again upload and it can then be visualized in just the same way again so at this point we start to see how with the release of AIFDB um, and all of the interchange um, functions um, uh, later this month January um, and then other windows and tools for using the argument web um, like Arvina um, due for release in March you can see how um, the vision of the argument web is starting to come into um, reality as a result of the implementation of the AIF thank you for listening <laughs>